The light kind of came to fruition. We wanted some underwater lights for our dock. And I got to look, and this was 15 years ago. So the internet and, and shopping on the internet was all fairly fresh. So we did what research we could do, and we just couldn't find anything commercially available. There was nothing out there. So we kind of established that there was a need for this type of product. Um, other than a swimming pool light, nobody was doing anything underwater, uh, other than maybe swimming pools or fountains. So we started just kind of messing with different uh, ideas. Uh, I wasn't smart enough to really develop the product on my own, but I was smart enough to ask questions. So I got with engineers at Sylvania and several other companies and started asking questions. Um, met a few guys that were in the epoxy industry. They were developing resins for underwater isolation of electrical current, uh, potting compounds. We get some samples and we started fooling with that type stuff and um, put some stuff together that worked. And we ran it for about six, eight months, a year. Uh, determined that it was, it was feasible. The process we were using was working. And then um, my neighbor next door has a place in Florida. So he saw our lights here on the lake. He wanted one for his place in Florida. So we built him one, sent it down there. His neighbor called us, hey, can you build me one? So we built another one. And then we started selling lights on eBay. Went to Yahoo Page Builder and, Builder and built a little website. Linked it to our already existing PayPal account um, that we had established from selling on eBay. Woke up on Monday morning and had $780 worth of orders. Actually, originally, there was a building that sat here with our old house that was about an eight by 12 building. There's a picture of it on the wall over there. It was the original shop, it was eight by 12. And like I said, we grew from that to a bright at 5,000 square foot metal building on the highway, 2011. Then we moved back, you know, we moved back here. So this is great, the commute's easy. You know, I've got a flip flop commute to work every day. It's, it's pretty, pretty low stress. Uh. So uh, thank you for doing this today. We appreciate sure. it. I just happened to be in here and I've wanted one of these for probably about three or four years now. And mm -hmm. so how do I know whether I need a single or a dual or if I have enough electricity coming down to my sure. dock? And I, tell me about that. All right. So the, the difference between singles and doubles or whether you need a single or a double is, is usually a personal preference. Most people who go with a double over a single are looking at symmetry aspects. They want one off each side, one off each corner, one under each boat slip, you know, one off each dock. If they have two docks, they're looking at that. There's, there's, there's really no huge advantage to going with a double over two singles other than if you have a limited power supply. Um, the sure. double gives you the ability to plug in one location and operate two different lights off of that one location. Okay. So if you have limited plugs on the dock, Just the double. 110 or is it yeah, it's 110. Each bulb pulls around four amps at startup, and then it drops off to about two amps when it's running. Uh, that translates to roughly costing you somewhere around $2 a month to operate okay. on a dust till dawn setting. They're photo cell controlled, so they will work like a regular yard light, a dust till dawn yard light or a parking lot light, and it comes on when it gets dark, and it cuts off when it gets daylight. Okay. I think my dock setup will probably be one. Sure. Because it's and, and that's what most people yeah. can go with. One light for, for our location for Lake Martin should translate to somewhere around a 30 foot diameter of light in the water uh, in that 10 to 15 foot range. So this I'm thinking right over here. Oh, that's perfect. And then the, the, the um, outlet's right there. So I'm thinking go down. That and slips over, 12 wide. And boom. So 15 down, 12, that slip's going to be at least 12 wide. So 15 down, 12 across. I'm just thinking 28. out there just a tad. You're going to need a 75 footer. There you go. It's, it, I, 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 sometimes it's weird. I'll sit here and see how many times in a row I can do it. Man. All right, man. So here it is. Thank You're you ready so to go. so much, man. This is so awesome. Hey, get you a life from Ronnie Dennis. Big Green Monster.
And as always, thank you so much. If you have any questions, you can always call me. I know where you live. Yep, thanks, man. <laughs> if you want to find us, you can go to our website, which is thegreenmonsterfishinglight.com. You can email me at thegreenmonsterfishinglight at yahoo or at gmail.com. Or you can personally call me. I'll be happy to talk to you. The number is 334-332-0003. I'm Ronnie. And I'm Tara. And we are Green Monster. And, and we, we love, love Lake, Lake Martin. Martin.